and his suffering was made all the more tragic by the isolation in which he endured it, cast like an abandoned ship upon the empty shore. In love, death and robots the drowned giant, a giant washes ashore in a small town and changes the life of an academic who documents the finding. Right behind you. In Love, Death, and Robots Season 2, Episode 8 The Drowned Giant, when the corpse of a real-life giant washes ashore in a small town, an academic's life is changed as he documents the evolution of the corpse's decay. Proportions of his features made it impossible to assess the age of the giant. But Netflix's anthology series, featuring a selection of short animated films, was created by Tim Miller in partnership with series executive producer David Fincher. The first season, Love, Death, and Robots Volume 1 premiered on Netflix in 2019. The Drowned Giant is the final episode of the second volume of short stories adapted for the screen. The Love, Death, and Robots Season 2 episode follows the narrator as he describes what happens to the dead body of a giant, naked human being after it's discovered on the beach of a fishing village. At any moment, clap his heels together and crush the minuscule replicas of himself that swarmed around him. The short film is based on the story by J.G. Ballard. Originally published in 1964, the speculative short story written by Ballard and adapted for the Netflix show is like something out of the Odyssey or Gulliver's Travels. It's a fable about a monster who resembles a giant human being. The giant story of decay serves as a metaphor for many things. Going to be some overtime again, this time. The following day, I deliberately postponed my visit until late afternoon. It's a critic of consumerism and exploitation as well as a parable on identity and death. As the story explores the performative aspects of death, the narrator questions what it means to be human and how or when we lose our humanity. In Love, Death, and Robots the Drowned Giant, the narrator observes the mythical creature's deterioration. First, through a natural progression caused by the passing of time as animals, nature, weather, and the elements take a toll on the deceased corpse. But then one day the scientist notices an arm has been amputated, and later, the head. Until all of the qualities of personality and the human characteristics of the giant have vanished completely. The giant's death has taken on a life of its own. The Love, Death, and Robots episode doesn't focus on where the giant came from. To the figure, the interest of the spectators had at last expired. The people are more interested in the sensational aspects of the event and the entertainment value of it. Something has happened in their small, fishing town and they want to be a part of the legend that gets told about the giant long after the body has become only a collection of its parts. Just when he thinks the allure of the giant has faded from the townspeople's memory, the narrator notices pieces of the giant around town, a large bone, like an awning, hangs above a shop in one scene. The bones and body parts, no longer whole or human, have become mere decoration. In the episode's final scene, the giant's male appendage is on display inside a large circus tent. This is taken directly from the original story. Ballard closes with this detail to emphasize the humiliation and degradation of the giant and man's superficial and exploitative nature. As the narrator explains, the circus has incorrectly labeled it as belonging to a whale. As merely a large sea beast. But the giant is still alive for me. And here, in the end, the giant has been completely stripped of his humanity, remembered by this single body part mislabeled as belonging to an animal. Another possibility is that the giant was never human at all, but a metaphor for man's treatment of beached whales, giant beasts of the sea. As the narrator watches the evolution of the giant's body and the many forms it takes on as time passes, the story becomes a meditation on life and death. The giant's identity has been replaced in the eyes of the living, but the narrator takes solace in the fact that parts of the giant's body have remained in nature, becoming one with the sand and the sea. Netflix's Love, Death, and Robots reintroduces Ballard's The Drowned Giant to audiences who continue to contemplate the meaning behind the classic tale decades after its first publication. ...through the streets of town, picking up the fragments of himself on his return journey to the sea.